what is it that you're most misunderstood about? I would think the consciousness thing, probably. The trouble is that's a murky subject. And probably, I, I'm not sure I should have got into it at all. And I learned about the Gödel theorems, and I found it absolutely stunning. Because I had sort of vaguely heard that Gödel's theorem showed that there were things in mathematics you couldn't prove. I didn't like the idea very much. But then when I heard what it actually said, I found this stunning. Because what it says, you make a sentence, and this sentence says, you have to... It's clever to make it do it, but you make this sentence say, in effect, I am not provable by those rules. And that's what it says. And if it's false, it is provable by the rules, and therefore it's true and not provable by the rules. Amazing. You know it's true not because of the rules that you're using, because you believe that those rules only give you truths. And what's the point of using these rules as methods of proof if you don't trust the rules? So you have to understand why the rules only give you truths. So then I'm going to think, well, what, is, what does understanding mean? Well, it seems to me whatever it is, it seems to involve consciousness. I mean, the very term con understanding, you wouldn't really say an entity understands something unless it's aware of it. But to understand something, you have to be aware of it. So for some reason, the awareness of things gives you something beyond what you could achieve with computers. So that is a view which, which I felt held then and still hold, which is more relevant than ever now, of course, because people talk about AI, which is already a misnomer as far as I'm concerned. It's not artificial intelligence. It may be art artificial cleverness or something, oh, okay. but it doesn't involve any understanding. Dean, about the mathematical logic, was to say that the um, understanding of why the rules work is something which is not a computational thing.